Hey guys, so part two is just uploaded. Um, this is part three. I'm snacking, watching some more CSI. Shocker, I know. I think I showed this um, cereal during a grocery haul or during one of my vlogs or something. But it's really good. It kind of, it's like a vanilla -y flavor and like really crunchy and all that. But I don't know if you all re ever had, remember like um, Cocoa Puffs? or Count Chocula or something like that, how they never really tasted chocolatey, but they tasted more like vanilla. That's kind of what this tastes like. So this is kind of like your super healthy version of like Cocoa Puffs. It's really good. I don't, as you can tell, I'm not eating it like in a bowl with any almond milk or anything. I just snack on it by hand. Uh, I just wanted to show that to you. I know it's not super exciting, but it's another good cereal y'all might want to check out. And if it matters to you at all, it's it's gluten-free, um, which doesn't matter to me. Gluten doesn't... Uh, I don't have a problem with gluten or anything like that. But it is non-GMO and organic, so that's pretty fantastic. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to my show and uh, come back to you later. Hey, guys, I just looked outside and I wanted to show you the sunset. It's just beautiful right now. You know the camera never never does it justice really pretty and that right there in the middle right there that's my favorite tree. It's just a really pretty tree. I like the shape of it, I guess. It's a good view right there. So, on uh, Christmas Eve at work, we're going to have our potluck. And I signed up to do a dessert. I said either um, cookies or brownies. And I know one of the other new associates is going to be bringing cookies, so... I'm a little hesitant on bringing cookies, but um, I found two good recipes in both of these cookbooks. I was actually watching um, the Vegan Zombie um, 2, it's their second page, kind of like their behind the scenes vlog kind of style page, and um, they were kind of showing how they were testing recipes for the potato latkes, which look fantastic and crunchy and yummy, and then they were also um, putting together a chocolate chip cookie recipe. So. I don't think that video is up yet, but I haven't looked. Uh, the Laka one, I believe, is already up. I, I think I saw that one. I think. <laughs> um, anyway, so I figured I'd check out their book to see if I could find anything, and I thought um, something similar might be in the Thug Kitchen cookbook. So in the Vegan Zombie um, Cook and Survive, their cookbook, I found, sorry, notes. I found these. It's their peanut butter chocolate chip cookies, and those look really good. Um, I don't know if the recipes are similar in the Thug Kitchen, but when I turn to the Thug Kitchen, they have their sorry, they have their section marked off, and I just turned the first page. I have it marked off with my Christmas card. I still haven't opened yet. Um, my mom sent my husband and I each a separate uh, Christmas card, so I'm gonna open those when he gets home. Anyhow. One of my favorite desserts as a kid was those popsicle fudge pop things. Good God, I could eat the whole box if no one was home. Like, seriously, they were, like, my favorite thing. So I saw these. <laughs> so they look a lot richer than the ones that I've had in the past, but who cares? Like, those look fantastic. So I'm going to try those at one point. I just kind of wanted to show that to you. And then they have, well, they have carrot or carrot cake cookies. Those look good, too. They also have a chocolate chip and almond butter cookie recipe. Um, let's see. I don't want to give the recipe completely away. So let me look at these for you. Hello. Um, they are... Pretty, pretty similar. Um, one calls for the peanut butter. <laughs> kind of. There's my pants again. 
sorry. And the one calls for the almond butter, and I don't have either one of those right now, so I would probably just use um, cashew butter. And then the flour's a little different. Uh, Vegan Zombie does not use any sort of like a flax egg, and the Thug Kitchen does. And then Vegan Zombie uses um, vegan margarine, so like an earth balance. And it doesn't look like the um, the Thug Kitchen uses anything like that. They both have almond milk. They both have vanilla extract. Um, similar amounts of chocolate chips. It's kind of one of those things when you add like chocolate chips to something, it's, you know, add as much as you want. Um, when I used to make chocolate chip cookies all the time, and my recipe was really good, so I need to try to veganize that one. Um, I actually kind of preferred the dough with less chocolate chips in it. I actually would always try to make myself um, like one cookie at the very end that had very little chocolate chips in it. I just kind of like the dough, I guess. But I never made the dough just without the chocolate chips because I just wanted that little piece of chocolate every once in a while. I am a chocoholic, but for some reason chocolate chip cookies without the chocolate chips kind of taste really good. I know that sounds strange. Um, so maybe one of these days I'll actually just go ahead and do a comparison on these two. We'll see. Um, I don't like to keep a lot of sweets in the house like we have right now because I will just freaking eat them all. So, yeah. Boring, I know. Alright, so I'm probably going to choose between these two recipes and make one of them. Or, I think, shoot. <laughs> the Vegan Zombie also had a brownie recipe which when they did their book tour over in Germany um, seemed to be like super, super popular. So I might give those a go as well. And also, this... <laughs> Let's try to combine my words here. Uh, Misty from the Vegan Dog Lady, when she sent me the sponges that I had won off that giveaway that Heather kind of, kind of passed on to me. Hey, Heather. Hey, Misty. Um, she sent me some brownies, which I guys showed you and showed you how much I love I went with those and she sent me the recipe <laughs> so I'm trying to decide I've got two vegan brownie recipes and two vegan chocolate chip peanut butter butter nut butter cookie recipes to choose from so I'll probably honestly just look at all four of those recipes and see which one um, is the easiest which one I have to do the least amount of work for <laughs> and uh, make those. Today is, today's the 21st. Tomorrow's the, right? No, oh crap. Today's the 22nd, tomorrow's the 23rd, which means when I get off work tomorrow, I need to see if I have all the ingredients and then go to the store and get the ingredients. And then also do any last minute shopping for our get together with our friends on Christmas. Um, crap just kind of sneaks up on you, doesn't it? Oh, and I have the oven on because I'm going to make some sweet potatoes for my lunch for the next couple of days, and it's probably ready for me to put the sweet potatoes in, so I'm totally wasting energy right now. So let me go do that. All right, guys, I'll be back to you later. Real quick, I'm not going to walk outside again, but the sky is like, like forever changing. Look at that pink and that blue. There were some really pretty sunsets in... California because of the smog but here in Texas and there I just call it big Texas sky the sunsets are just amazing like a lot of the time I love having my window open all right back to potatoes Hey everybody, I'm going to make my um, smoothie for the next couple of days and um, usually I actually like measure it out so I get them as even as possible because um, when I have to be up at 4 a.m. I just have that one smoothie so I want to want to get as much as I can, you know, so I have this electric scale that I use for different things. So let's get it turned on. And that's CSI on in the background. Okay. So I have it set for ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and usually I like bag it up. Um, and I just do like per bag, but I'm not going to do that today. 
because I'm going to zero this out and then hold on. All right, so this is a three pound bag, so this should be enough for three servings, and I have three early shifts this week. So I zeroed that out, so I'm just going to plunk it in until I hit about um, 32 ounces, and then I'll fill it up the rest of the way with water. And I'll go ahead and weigh this bag too to make sure that this wasn't off by like a good amount. Lecture scales are kind of handy to have. You can get them for like twenty, thirty, forty dollars, depending on you know what all you need it to do. My hand is frozen. Almost there. So let me stop this. Okay, guys. So this was just over thirty-two ounces, and then this bag um, is sixteen point five ounces. And you have to remember the bag's not is being taken into account. So it was actually pretty pretty perfect on. So um, I'm going to make a double batch now because I have two 4 a.m. shifts in a row. Well, two 5 a.m. shifts in a row. Um, and then I'm going to save this bag for the end of the week when I have um, another shift. So I just wanted to show that to you. And then let me grab my water. So then what I do is I'm, I'm going to just let this sit out. I usually let it sit out earlier in the day and let it thaw, but I totally forgot. So I'm just going to fill this bad boy up with water. A little bit slower. And then I will blend that up, and I forgot to add sugar. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm actually going to do, because this is a different brand, I'm going to try to, this says sweet mango chunks, I'm going to try blending this up without any sugar in it, and it's that organic sugar that I showed you from my last Costco haul, um, and see if it's sweet enough. If it's sweet enough without the sugar, I'm not going to add any. I only add it when, you know, the chunks aren't quite sweet enough. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to let that sit out probably for a good hour or so, and uh, let it thaw so it's... So it blends easily, so I don't got to add more water than necessary. And then I'm going to pour it into two of these jars and stick it in the fridge. Um, for the ones that sit overnight, I don't add greens. Um, I just need something that I know is going to taste sweet and wake me up in the morning. And sometimes the greens kind of get oxidized overnight. And at four in the morning, I just I want it to taste good. <laughs> so... Um, that's about it guys. My husband should be home soon. I hope he said there's a lot of traffic and, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do for dinner, but I know we need to return a movie. So maybe I'll just have him grab something after he returns the movie. And then like I showed you before, I've got those sweet potatoes cooking. So that's going to be my lunch for the next, um, two days. And then I'll probably bring some apples or something along with it. So, so I've made three kind of long vlogs. This one's already at like 13 minutes or something like that. So, um, I'm going to cut it for the evening. That's, that's really long for me. That's the longest I've ever done. I think it's total of 35, no, like 40, 45 minutes, give or take today. Um, which I know some people like long vlogs and this one's been broken up. So that's kind of good. So this is my third one. Um, like I said, we're just going to do dinner, relax, and then I'm going to hopefully be in bed no later than 10 PM. Cause I got to be up for 4 AM. So I will um, probably see you guys tomorrow because I need to go grocery shopping, like I said, and make some um, cookies for my work Christmas um, luncheon thing. And then I need to get a few other things for our um, dinner with our friends on Christmas Day. So um, I'm sure I will vlog something for sure tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.